G'day, how's it going? My name is Rivlo and welcome back to Sev Tech. <laughs> so, it's been a while. Yeah, that's my bad. I kind of got a bit burned out of the pack. Right now, we're in age two. I did progress to it. I tried recording before, but um, it was just nothing. I was just crafting because everything interesting in this age requires you to go exploring and so this this is one of the things that falls under that the closest swamp is like a few thousand blocks away which i don't really understand because it's it fi i find it really odd that there's so much biome based stuff but there's almost no way to get there and um i gave up went into spectator and basically flew for a good 15 minutes over about six swamp biomes until I found one of these. So I went I went over so many swamp biomes and none of them had any sign of anything in it. But we're collecting the swamp talisman pieces for this, for the between lands. In order to make it, I don't know how we do this. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, so we just need one more piece. Wait. That's it. Put them all in like that. And... Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> Dude, that's so cool. Give me that. Yeah. Give me that. Um, if the pack does get more interesting, like if there's more things to do, um, interesting stuff, rather than just wandering around an empty map for three hours straight. <laughs> That's an exaggeration, but it's it's close. So once we get this, what do we have to do? Locate a druid circle or swamp biome. Yes, that's all that. Click a talis click the talisman on a place sapling to create the large portal to the between lands. I think I've seen this before. Alright, so we'll head to back to base to do that. I'll find a good spot. So I'll meet you back in a sec. So, I've done a quite a lot of work on the base here. And this was just to kind of get it all spruced up. Make it better to live in. So yeah, it just um, work out what I've done in between the episodes. I definitely made this. I experimented a little bit with building and creating this thing. We've, we've got the turntable up here, just because I can. But this is just your, you know, everyday rustic shack, I guess. I'm just trying it out. I think I might have to kill some of the chickens. That might be what's causing so much lag. Did that improve it at all? No. Why would it? <laughs> Alright, so out to the peninsula, maybe. I think that'll be a cool place. Maybe out in the mud over this way. Yeah, right on the peninsula. Jeez, there's a lot of items out here. What the heck? Whoa, what the hell? Why is there so many chickens out here? Whoa. This is what's causing the lag. 100%. So I've got a lot of junk on me. But that has skyrocketed the FPS. It runs so smooth now. There we go. Did that help? 130 FPS, 134, 80. I'm not dropping below 70 anymore. What a mystery. Why the hell were there so many chickens out here? That's freaking weird. Actually, you know what? Realistic item drops. Config. There we go. Old items. Render items the old way. So it doesn't... That shouldn't render them like that anymore. 
Oh my god. It's so much smoother. <laughs> I digress. Let's do it right on the point here. Let's have a look at what happens. We'll get rid of this guy. I still... There's so many chickens here. Alright. Let's go for it. Boom. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. Oh, and it's like placed perfectly as well. Dude, this is so cool. Alright, I've got my bronze armor. Should we head through? I'll make a quick backup of the world. Alright, backup complete. Let's go through. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That's cool. Wilderness. Oh, hang on a sec. My inventory's empty. Whoa, hang on. Is that just that glitch? Better be. Okay, it is. <laughs> Dank world. Hey, the mapping work under here? It does. Well, under... I say under here. Whoa. Dude, this is so cool. This is the first time I've ever... I'm ever seeing this mod, by the way, as well. So... I'm just kind of worried about the creatures here. Because having such a low frame rate, it's not the most fun when you're trying to kill mobs. Flathead mushroom. Oh, you can pick them up. Yummy. Maybe yummy? Oh. Weed wood. <laughs> yep, definitely is a dank place here then. I'm getting advancements, but I'm just scared. Okay, it pauses when you do the advancement though. Oh my god, we've got a ton more tabs. Alright, maybe it's going to get more interesting from here on out. There's a guy coming for me. Um, Adventurer. Yes, dank world. Alright. Collect wood in the between lands. Alright, I'm going to kill this dude. You look... Are you gonna come attack me? He seems to be confused by this bush. Yeah, he's very confused. Alright, just... But let me just say, these animations are absolutely fantastic. Look at the animations on these guys. Oh god, I'm... Okay. Whoa. It's like they've got shields or something. What the frick? Alright. Giving your shit. He's got a fancy thing around him that I might want. I think I've seen that before. Ow! What was that noise? I'm so confused. I have no idea what I'm doing. He didn't drop it. He had like one of those little things around him from um, Astral Sorcery. These things. Oh no, it is from the Between Lands. My bad. Okay, so it wants me to mine wood here. That works. Ooh, stinky water. Dry bark. Okay, maybe that doesn't work then. Uh, okay. Wood. A cure. What was that under? The slime ball. Collect balls of sap. Interesting. I'm getting the hang of this, I think. So see that bar above my hunger? The way that this said a cure... Maybe... Say nay to decay. So maybe that bar there is decay. Whoa, and that's freaky. What does that mean to be? Is that a, like a ravine? Why do I keep thinking this place is underground? It's not a ravine. <laughs> I'm mental, dude. Pothead. <laughs> Rings. Fighter. Obtain a between land sword. Alright, let's let's that could be a start. Sword. Bone sword. We've got that. But I need to make a crafting table. So let's check this out. What do I get wood from? Oh hi. Oh! 
Is this like the Aether? In that it doesn't like tools from elsewhere? That might be what it... Why don't you let me pick you up? Boy! Black hat mushroom. Nibble twig log. What do I do with nibble twig log? Weed wood crafting table? That's nibble twig. We need to find some weed wood then. These guys are weed woods, I betcha. Ooh! What's this? Algae. There we go. That's actual wood. So we've got weed wood log, and then we've just got weed wood. So... Do I need to use... I need to use weed wood planks. That's a chopping block. Chopping block. <laughs> oh man, we need to use the flipping thing. Okay, I'm gonna grab a bunch of wood. What are you? It's a Maya snail. Hey, dude. I can pick him up. Alright, you're coming with me. Come with me. Come with me, Maya snail. <laughs> you chilling? What do you do? He just snails about. What a dude. Doesn't need this junk. Alright, he can hang around here. He can be my buddy. Alright, so we'll get some of this wood sawn. Just over here. Like sawn the seep, haha. <laughs> no worries. Very nice. So we can make a crafting table. And we'll make a, um... I don't know why I'm... Oh yeah, no, we're doing it for advancements. It's all good. Efficiency. Dual sulfur furnace. Wow, this is cool. So we had a stick and the bones. There we go. So we'll shift all those along. This is serious business. Yes, it is. What else do we do? Choppy boy. Say an enemy with the sword. Alright, let's go back. Make sure to let Glenn out of... What the hell kind of tip was that? Advanced darkness. Enter a cave. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I didn't do anything of the sort. Alright, bitches, I've got a sword, and I'm not, af well, I'm slightly afraid, because there might be bigger stuff here, but I'm not afraid to use it. <laughs> what are you, are you friendly too? Oh, that's very cool. Oh, that's cool. They go inside the bushes, oh my god. Whoever made this mod, you are a legend. Look at the, the leaves, he's in there. Is he like a little skink? Hey, hey dude. What are you doing? No, don't hide. Oh, That's a bigger thing. That's a little bit big. Mmm. Where's the little skink? Oh, there he is. Oh, it's called, it's a gecko. Oh, but he hides when I come close. It's so cute. So we're meant to kill something with the sword here. I'm guessing... Ow. I'm guessing stuff works like, uh... The Aether did? Where the tools aren't as effective? From other dimensions? So you have to make the Between Lands tools. But we can get the stone. The AOT probably bypasses it. Because it's a modded tool. Oh no, this is just stone stone. Oh, jewel so- Oh, sulfur- <gasps> Okay, let's do that. Hey, what's going on, guys? Today we're gonna be doing a Minecraft Let's Play. This is the first night. I've just started the world. And we're gonna be creating a furnace here in a second. So I just made a jewel sulfur furnace. We're gonna be placing it down. <laughs> I wanna make this kind of a bit of a silly episode, because I'm not really sure. How long I'm going to continue playing the pack for. Considering the way I got bored of it just before. But, this is awesome. Just, hands down, fantastic. So, I definitely want to keep playing this if this is how it's going to continue on. I'm guessing the early game, I let it drag on for too long. Um, I'm not super experienced in pacing things for videos, so... We're learning, we're learning. Can I pick up this dude? I can pick up this guy. You can pick up everything. I'm going to kill it though. <laughs> that was tragic. So you can make crazy stuff. Whoa. This is so interesting. The obligatory Rick and Morty reference. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Why did I attempt to do that? Scabists. Animator. I am unsure. Wait a second. This is cool. This is really cool. So I'm looking for a white, I think. I'm not really sure which one to go first. Adventurer? It's considering it's the first one on the list, maybe. Craftsman. Obtain extra ingots using limestone flux. Limestone flux. How do we make that? Pestle and water. Crag rock. Wow. This is really cool. I'm going to explore for a little bit. And I'll come back if I find anything. Oh. What's that? What's this over here? <laughs> this way. What are you? I see something at the top that may interest me. Oh, poison. What, 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 what? No. Ah, holy hell. Okay, it's easy. <laughs> no, that's not a white. Charamore wing. Anything will taste better after eating this. Ruined it. You bloody ruined it. Oh. This is cool. Pot of chance. Zelda pots, please. Hell. Holy heck. No, no, no. I can't aim. I can't aim. Kill it. Yuck. Yuck. Zelda pots. Lurker skin. That's it. You. Look, there's a... Oh my god, all my food's gone. Oh god, I can pick up the pots. Oh, look at that amulet socket. Oh, there's my food. Well, you can put... <laughs> you can put stuff in the pots. That's where it went. How did my food end up in... Wait, what? What's this? Sulfur. That's a lot. Arrows. Wow. I really don't feel safe here, and this is so cool. Just, like, freaking look at this place. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going mental or not, but I love it too much, I think. Wait, what's that? <gasps> Rock crystal sample from Astral Sorcery. Oh my god. This is, um, for H2 here. Star power. See, yeah, yeah, these things indicate a rock crystal um, vein down below. So, I'll mark this on the map. There's another wreck over here. A uh, ruin. Go away! Coming straight towards me. Oh! It's a spawner. Oh no, evil slugs! Stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Thank you. Raw snail flesh. They're evil slugs. No, no, no. Why'd I say slugs? They're snails. Quite clearly. A monster, monster spawner. And there's a chest full of loot. I'm taking it. I really don't want to die though. I'm just trying to wash my health. <laughs> Can I break this? I don't want to break it. That sucks. This is cool as. Okay, I'm just gonna um, leave. I think I got a, I got a top hat. Explorer's hat. Can we put it in baubles? No. I want to live in it. I want to live in it. I love tree houses. I want to live in this one here. This is mine. I have something attached to me. What is that thing? Just under my map. I use this to because the field of view is very warped. I play on higher field of view, so I look to the side. Is that a block? I hope that's a block. No, it's not. Are you friendly? He, either he's friendly or is he sleeping?
Okay, I don't feel safe all of a sudden because he's not moving. He's got 60 health, so I don't really want to try killing it. I want this tree. <laughs> I love tree houses so much. So I got an advancement saying that's some big wood. Find a giant weed wood tree. Get a pyrad angry by hitting its tree. Well, we know where the pyrad is. I really don't feel like doing that. It's an advancement, dude. I really don't want to hurt your tree. Okay, I'm sorry, dude. You're going to have to stay in there. Nothing happened. I mind your tree. Huh? What's going on? Like, I don't want to bust up the tree. This is a freaking amazing base. Is it possible to grow these? Because if it is... I'm gone. I'm out of here. I'm taking this tree and I'm putting it... Like, it, it, it's called a weed wood, right? I mean, you can't come up with a better name than that. It's just the, the best combination ever. It's massive. It's called weed. I mean, what's better? Well, right now, I think this tree can't be... habited. White pear tree? White pear seeds. Alright, I'm gonna go check around a little bit. Again. I should mark this. I should very much so mark this, because the map doesn't show shit when it comes to this stuff. I've got so much junk on me. Is there anything in this crate? Oh, there's just a ton of cobble in the crate. Of course there's a ton of cobble in the crate. <laughs> Explorer, man. I wish there was cosmetic armor. The cosmetic armor mod. So then I could, um, put on that explorer's hat. With my armor on. But I can't. And I can't sacrifice my armor. Because I don't know what's possible here. Bloody hell! I hate you, I hate you a lot. Why does he keep making the ding sound? Stop dinging me, and you're a frog. Hello, frog. Frog. He's just a little frog. Holy shit! It's a rave frog! <laughs> Why is it doing that? And he's blue again. That's fantastic! Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Use a normal torch in the between lands. I'm done with. <laughs> Damp torch. Ah, I see. You got me there. <laughs> so what kind of torches do we need to use? Sulfur torch. Ah, okay. Oh, wait. I've got stuff to do that. Weedwood stick sulfur. Oh, of course. You can't do that. Wait. Am I just insane, or did that not show up before? There's some more here, though. I only get one per, which kind of sucks. I probably need fortune. God, there's a cave here, too. What is go- Whoa, the- What are those things? <laughs> I'm like a kid here. I'm just like, oh, what are those things? Okay, now this is how you do stalactites properly. Wait. Stalactite? Stalactite. Now see, I thought the ones that came down from the roof were called something different to the ones that were on the floor. This is Minecraft, why am I fact checking it? Caverns. Oh my god, my inventory's full. Cymerite. Cymerite ingot. You can make Cymerite stuff. Whoa. What's its in damage like? 256. It's still not as good as this stuff. It's kind of sh- How did I get seven ingots already? <laughs> oh, I thought that was a slug. There's a 100% chance I'm going to get lost down here. This is... These, these are too cool. They're not just like vanilla caves. 
It's like custom generation. It reminds me very much so of Cube World for some reason. So what other advancements are there? Discover an idle head. Find a white fortress. See, that's what I was talking about before, the whites. Find a Cragwalk Kiowa. I don't understand how I managed to say that so strangely. Oh! Yuck. They have the Aurora Borealis Northern Lights thingy-ma-bob in this. Alright, dude, who made this mod? Who? What kind of god made this mod? <laughs> because I think he needs an award. Hey, look, I found a gecko, but there's also... Yuck off! Blah! The geckos are stuck in the water, so I want to pick one up. You're mine now. Make your sound again. Oh, bugger off! Listen to that sound effect. Do you know what that's from? Well, I say from. It's the WTFs from Orspawn. Alright, I need to head home. I'm, oh, wow, I've gone far. Time to go home. I'm going to put the gecko inside the storage drawer. So, um, because they run away immediately. And I don't want them to run away from me. So you can use um, the sulfur furnace... So if I hit uses on this. No, what the hell do you use this for? There's no uses for it. It doesn't let me hit you on it. Maybe JEI doesn't support it. Huh. I'll just store him in here. He's like a Pokemon. He... He's technically trapped. And being held against his will. But it's okay because... Alright. Anyway. Um... I think I'll leave that here, because that was absolutely fantastic. I don't know why, but I'm in love with that mod. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> but I'll definitely continue on with it later. I want to get some of these advancements done, um, and a lot of it involves exploring. So I'll go and explore around in there and have a look. Probably next episode, or maybe in between episodes, but I feel like that'd be such a fun thing to do in an episode. Because this uh, thing here, if we go like this, we use uh, the, the item scroll, this animator thing, right? It seems to give you a random chance of stuff. With you, if you use a life crystal and sulfur, it seems to give you random items. And I'm all for random items. But the problem is, is we're going to need the, this white thing. And in order to find that, it sounds like we're going to have to find a white fortress, and that's going to be very nice. I'm excited for that. <laughs> and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it because I definitely did. My game's glitching. What's going on? So yeah, I'll see you in the next time when we go and find some more stuff.